Becoming an actuary is really difficult. It's not worth your time. Maybe you should try something different. I don't really think you can do it. Why don't you become an accountant instead? That seems pretty ambitious, don't you think? Even the smartest people can't become actuaries. Why don't you just focus on business? If anyone in your life has said one of these discouraging things to you or something similar, then this video is for you. I'm Bria, associate of the Society of Actuaries and founder of the Actuary Accelerator community where we train future actuaries how to become top actuarial candidates and get their first actuarial dream job without an internship. Now, I know you want to become an actuary. You know you can do it, but everyone around you is telling you the exact opposite. It can be so demotivating. It can make you feel like you're second guessing your decision. It can make you feel like you have no support from people that really should be supporting you in this decision. So here's why they're saying that. They are trying to protect you. It's all well-meaning, but they're just trying to protect you. They don't want to see you try something that they think might not work out. They're scared for you. But that fear of trying something that might not work out has been holding them back for years, maybe even their whole life. And now they are putting that same fear onto you when you want to go try something big and achieve a big dream in your life. I mean, do you think that someone like Bill Gates, Justin Bieber, Oprah would say to you, oh, becoming an actuary is a pretty big goal. I don't think you're really cut out for that. No, you wouldn't because they at one time Time were regular people just like you and I and they went on in their life to do incredible things amazing things and they had dreams and they achieved them so they know that if you really put your mind to something you can do whatever you want so who would they be to tell you that you can't do something but on the other hand from someone that has always gone the easy route someone that has always avoided difficult things someone that has never achieved their dreams they're going to tell you that your dreams are too big and too crazy and that you shouldn't even bother trying with them you see, there are two types of people in this world. There are the people that have fear and do it anyway. And then there are the people that have fear and let that hold them back from achieving their dreams. So you've got to think for yourself here, which type of person do you really want to influence your life? Who do you want to take advice from? You'll probably get much further in life if you ignore the skeptics, ignore your fear and just go for your dreams anyway. Sure, going for your actuarial dreams might seem like a bit of a risk, but what have you really got to lose anyway? anyway. Like really, what have you got to lose? Most likely you're going to grow as a person no matter what the end result is. When I quit my actuarial job and decided to go full in on etched actuarial and helping future actuaries achieve their big dreams, it wasn't an easy decision. You can probably imagine how scary that would be. You'd think, what if this doesn't work out? What if I'm giving up on this great stable actuarial career and the business ends up failing? I even had my dad question whether this was a good decision and my boss at the time did too. But I had surrounded myself with others that were doing this already and many that had already done it. And that helped me really get the mindset that I needed to keep moving forward. It helped me overcome those doubters and those naysayers. So in my mind, I knew it was possible. I knew that no matter what, I was going to make it work. I would keep going and going and going until I figured it out. And I remembered that even if for some reason it didn't, I could always go back. There were other options for me. It's not like my entire life would be doomed if I tried this goal and it didn't work out. So I did it. I went for my dream despite the advice I was getting from others. And I'm still so glad that I did. But what if I had never tried? What if you never tried to become an actuary, even though it's been your dream for months, maybe years, maybe your whole life, just because well-meaning people are telling you that maybe you can't, maybe it's going to be too hard. You shouldn't do this. If you don't at least try, you are guaranteed to never become an actuary. What if instead of surrounding yourself with people that fear making the wrong decision, you instead decide to surround yourself with people that are doing exactly what you want to do. Imagine how much more motivating that would be. Imagine how much more likely you would be to succeed. Having that supportive community is one of the reasons that so many of our Actuary Accelerator community members stay month after month after month. It's because they are filled with positivity and hope and knowing that others are doing this at the exact same time with them. And they know that if others are doing it, they can too. I mean, you're no different than the hundreds of other future actuaries that are in the Actuary Accelerator community working away at this goal every single day. So why not you too? Now, if you're like most future actuaries, you might feel like this is a great concept. You want to go for it despite others that might be discouraging you. But in the back of your mind, maybe you have this nagging feeling about how far behind you are. Maybe you feel like your low GPA might hold you 
you back. Maybe you're worried that you're starting too late or that you don't have an internship or you have no exams passed. And if that is you, if those are the thoughts you're having in your mind, then you have got to go watch this video because being behind really isn't all that bad. So that is all for today. I will see you next Tuesday. Bye for now.